Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokender Kumar and today we are going to discuss how to design a perfect title for your research article. I'm going to show you the guidelines step by step and by following those guidelines you can improve the quality of your title. Title is the most important part of your research article. Title is the advertisement of your research article. So everyone who sees your title should understand the research study and should get attracted towards the study. After getting attracted toward the study, that person is going to read the article. So title is really important. So we're going to understand all those concepts and details to design a perfect title for your research article. One quick request, if you are new to the channel, please press the subscribe button and if you like the video, please press the like button. Point number one. First, try to identify the audience for your research article. Audience means whether your article is for undergraduate student, whether it is for PhD student, or whether it's for faculty members or senior researchers. Because on the basis of that, you can design the research article's complexity. So you can make it simpler to complex. So first, try to identify what is the audience of your research article. Point number two. You need to identify scope as well as subject in your uh, title. For example, if you are writing a study about antimicrobial activity of a compound, then you have to mention the subject. For example, in this case, maybe a name of the bacteria. And the scope is the antimicrobial activity. So these are the important things that you have to uh, consider while you are writing a research article. Uh, so you have to consider the scope as well as the subject for the study. Point number three, try to write multiple titles for your research study. What will happen? Then you can get feedback from various researchers and try to also get feedbacks from non-science background people. Because if they can understand your title, most likely your title is already catchy or it's attractive to various audiences. So it is very important you write multiple titles for your research article and try to select one on the basis of feedbacks from various people. Point number four, try to avoid abbreviations and try to write a full name of a particular gene or a particular protein because if you write the abbreviation there is a less chance that people is going to understand what you have written. Although in biosciences, sometimes we use abbreviation and it's fine, but try to avoid abbreviations for uh, a word which is more complex and is, is not uh, going to increase the length of your title. So uh, I would say it's a kind of judgmental uh, thing whether you should write abbreviation or not, but try to avoid the abbreviation in the title. Point number five, which is really important. Try to keep the length of your title short. What will happen then people can understand your title more easily as compared to the long title. But there is a point uh, because you have to incorporate a lot of information in the title so your title becomes lengthy and if you short the title, uh, the title loses its information. So you need to create a balance between these two points but try to be concise between the word limit of 10 to 15 so that your title is short and crispy and concise. Point number six, try to use the words which are catchy and can stimulate the reader's attention. So you can use those uh, words on the basis of your research study. So you can find the most important words that you have used in your research article and try to incorporate those words in the title section so that your title is more catchy and it can stimulate the interest of the reader. Point number seven, try to incorporate hypotheses as well as results in your title section. I know it's a lot, but I think with practice you can do this. For example, if you are working on a compound and you found some activity, so you can write a title in such a way it can show the results as well as the mechanism of action. For example, compound X has antimicrobial activity via membrane lysis. So you can actually propose the, all the hypotheses that you have shown in the research paper and that will make your title really great. Point number eight, try to find out articles with similar uh, titles. 
what you can uh, do, you can download those articles and read those papers and also customize your title on the basis of the title that is being provided in that particular research article. What will happen that will improve the quality of your title and uh, important thing is download the research articles from good journals with high impact factors. Point number nine, try to avoid the words like study of, analysis of, or similar kind of constructions because those constructions are going to increase the length of your title but they are not going to add up any significance to your title so try to avoid these kinds of constructions point number 10 which is more general comment for uh, a title and it also applies to full research article try to uh, use correct grammar and uh, do not make any spelling mistake in your title you can give uh, your research article for review to another researcher and try to see whether he can find any error in your uh, in your title it is really important because it puts a bad impression on editor so try to avoid that mistake all right everyone okay so we discussed all the guidelines that we um, need to understand to construct a beautiful and amazing title for your research article now it's time to do a reality check so i'm going to show you some of the articles that were published in various journals and uh, i'm going to discuss the title of those articles so that you can understand the construct of a title and we can uh, compare those titles on the basis of the guidelines uh, that we discussed so i'm going to discuss a few of my articles uh, because I have done the study so I understand what we have done in that one so it will be easier for me to discuss everything about uh, those articles so let's first go to my Google Scholar uh, there it is Google Scholar profile so that's the Google Scholar uh, main window and I'm gonna go to my profile here those who are new to this uh, channel and uh, are watching this video for the first time i already have a new uh, old video on google scholar that explains how to use google Scho scholar what are the benefits of google scholar and uh, uh, what are the limitations of google scholar so i have uh, explained in detail about google scholar so I'm not going to explain uh, anything about Google Scholar here, but I'll put the link in the description box. Okay, so these are my articles. Let's select uh, one of the latest articles. So, how about this one? Okay, so I'm going to click on this one. This article, uh, article uh, has been selected in Biophysical Journal, which is a great, uh, great journal and uh, that publishes uh, the articles in the field of biophysics so let's discuss this particular uh, paper okay right now this is uh, the preprint preprint of this particular uh, paper so okay so this is the abstract so we are not going to go uh, into the abstract because I'm going to make a separate video on abstract so let's discuss the title so this is the title of the study okay now first guideline uh, uh, told us that you need to identify the audience so since the audience in this case will be undergraduate student master students or graduate students therefore you can you can see we tried uh, we tried to incorporate the words like allosteric so if you are not familiar with allosteric uh, uh, communication uh, so you are not a perfect audience for this one so at you need to uh, be at least undergraduate or a graduate student to understand this article so we know we knew that we are focusing on this particular audience so we use that particular word uh, now second is the uh, subject and scope of the study simple right two things so in this case we the subject is matrix metalloprotease one so we are focusing 
on a particular enzyme which is matrix metalloprotease 1 and we have mentioned that particular name in the title and also second thing is the uh, scope so scope we are trying to understand what is the effect of the domain communication so here we have mentioned uh, that uh, communication between domains and specifically allosteric communication between domains uh, modulate the activity of MMP1 so you can see we have mentioned the mm, the uh, the particular uh, scope of the study as well as me mentioned the subject of the study in the title so that fulfills the guide number, uh, guideline number two second we already wrote many titles so we wrote different different titles and then we selected this one uh, after getting feedback from various uh, researchers from scientific as well as uh, from non-scientific background uh, sec another thing is avoid abbreviation so uh, matrix metalloprotease can be written as mmp1 but we avoided that uh, uh, we have mentioned that in in the abstract you can see here and then uh, we uh, we use that particular word in our paper that particular abbreviation in our paper but you can see here we are not mentioning that the short form of that particular uh, word we are mentioning a full word so it is really important uh, that you don't use abbreviation in the title okay so that fulfills the um, one of the guideline another is the length of the title so i mentioned that we need to have a length between 10 to 15 15 is the max okay and if you can uh, construct your title uh, even less than 10 that will be great but you have to convey all the information that you want to convey in that title so you can see in this case we have one two okay let me just highlight one two three four five six seven eight nine if you're not consider considering this one as a word then i would say it's or if you're considering considering full matrix protease as a word then you have one two three four five six seven eight so eight nine and ten and this is the range where your title should be you can go up to 15 after 15 your title will sound like a complex a very complex uh, sentence and that will that will create an issue for uh, for you because where is uh, various audience is not going to like your article uh, title of your article okay so that is the very important part that we have a very short uh, title now important part is whether we are conveying the result and the hypothesis so this is really important part here in in the shortest form possible we have to convey the result as well as the hypothesis of that particular study in the title uh, and that's where the creativity comes in you have to construct a title which explain these uh, these aspect uh, very clearly so you can see we have mentioned that the activity of the matrix metalloprotease uh, protease 1 is modulated is modulated so that's the result activity has been mod modulated okay so we mentioned the result using allosteric uh, or because of the allosteric communication so that was the hypothesis so we have done various experiments single molecule experiments in this case and that conveyed the message very clearly that allosteric communication uh, between allosteric rather uh, allosteric communications between two domains of uh, matrix metalloprotease 1. Matrix metalloprotease uh, 1 is an enzyme it contains uh, two domain if I can if I can show you that will be much clear for you to understand what kind of 
enzyme is that uh, I do not want to discuss full paper uh, because it will take uh, me forever to discuss this particular paper but I want to show you the uh, picture of that particular enzyme uh, we have a very beautiful figure so you can see uh, these are the two domains of matrix mineral protease and they are sitting on a triple helical collagen and we have shown in this particular paper that communication between these two domains actually modulates the activity activity of this enzyme is to cleave this collagen uh, substrate and communication between these two domains uh, results in the modulation of the activity of matrix protease one so that was the theme of this particular article and we have done a lot of uh, experiments to explain that as you can see uh, this was the hypothesis and that was the result so we have result as well as hypothesis in the title section so this is how you should design the title of your research article okay uh, next is do not include the study of analysis of that was the guideline that i explained so i'm not explaining anything for example single molecule study reveals aerosteric communication between domain modulate activity of metalloprotease uh, one that could be another option to say that this particular study revealed that but then we will lose the importance of the hypothesis and importance of the result if we include that so most of the attention will go into the single molecule part right so that is uh, an important part to consider here and last was uh, we should always uh, uh, pay attention to the grammar and English uh, of the paper as well as the title so uh, we have done that uh, and uh, as you can see the title uh, seems very catchy and uh, we have got a good comment on this uh, good comments on this particular paper so the that means the title is great and you can see title is short and crispy and explains everything i also explain uh, very easily what the title wants to convey to you right so i would say from my side uh, i have shown you uh, a real example of construct constructing a particular title for your study uh, the study that i have done Mm, uh, with with all the group members that contributed significantly to this particular study it was not one man study everyone in this uh, particular study has contributed uh, uh, highly significantly they worked really hard uh, to complete this study so mm, i want to acknowledge everyone who has contributed for this study and also i want to mm, thank everyone that uh, we have this uh, nice paper out out there in biophysical journal so anyway so title i want to mention that again i want to mention that this is how you construct a title and those were the guidelines that you can follow to construct your title so if you have any any questions any comment or if you want to send your title to me i'm happy to read the title of your study and uh, provide my co uh, comments on your on your title and uh, uh, i'll be happy uh, to provide uh, additional suggestions to improve the title so for now that's all from my side and if you're new to the channel please uh, subscribe to the channel and if you like the video please press the like button Thank you for watching my video and if you like my work you can support my work on patreon.com i'll uh, put the link in the description box and you can visit the website and lastly uh, if you like my videos please subscribe to the channel